Make a start today at Stamford Bridge, where all eyes were on the arrival of Leeds United, this amazing side that is comfortably leading the First Division and is now this one match away from setting a record with 20 games without defeat at the start of the season, beating the 19 achieved by Liverpool in 1949-50. So Leeds then are 90 minutes away from marking a place in the history books. But they know they face a tough one today against Chelsea and Peter Osgood. He's recovered from a heavy cold, takes his place in probably the strongest side that manager Dave Sexton's been able to field all season. Peter, ne Peter Bonetti is back after missing one game. The number 11, Peter Houseman, also returns. Chelsea then coming nicely into form. As for Leeds, their form is fine, but their injury list is long. Billy Bremner seems to go on and on, but today Alan Clark is missing, and indeed there are no fewer than five first-team men out of action. Joe Jordan comes in at eight. Terry Yorath continues at ten. The referee is Donald Biddle from Bristol, and as the two captains, Bremner and Johnny Hollins, toss for ends, we're just about ready for the start, and the crowd at Stamford Bridge this afternoon is 40,000, the biggest of the day. So Leeds United in their all-yellow strip today, just 90 minutes away from this record of 20 games without defeat. Facing a Chelsea side that is in such good form at the moment with uh, 10 points out of their last 12. Here's Baldwin and Osgood. And Garland is off in pursuit. And Kemper is right there with a great chance and really came within an instant of putting it into his own goal. A tremendous break out of uh, defence by Chelsea in the first 30 seconds of the game. Kemba really only half hitting that shot and there was an enormous gap at that Leeds defence and Hunter is having a word with McQueen so that it shall not happen again well we nearly had the most dramatic of openings there here's Harvey with the kick Webb went into that challenge as though he really meant it Bremner giving the ball to Osgood played on again this time for Baldwin but Trevor Cherry there, Maidley to Yorath and now Maidley's beaten by Kemba and now Osgood once again, Maidley is back Bremner forward to Joe Jordan and now Bremner again going on a long way, touched on by Jordan and Bremner had gone right on Hausman though had gone right back with him well, there must have been an early scare there for manager Don Revy of Leeds United, who uh, 24 hours ago was in bed with tonsillitis, but he's fit enough to be out here watching his team. Osgood again, picking up the loose one. Kemba played on, this time for Baldwin. Good play there by Chelsea, and a bouncing ball. Jordan in first, Hollins, Kemba, played for Osgood. McQueen sticking very close to Osgood now, coming very deep with him. Not a good pass though by Hudson. Hausman getting the situation back very nicely there for Chelsea. And now Hollins having made his pass, linking on, so Chelsea with a lot of men forward. And uh, right back there for Leeds though was Paul Reaney. And a corner for Chelsea. Hollins will take it. Osgood is there in that area. So Hollins then with the corner for Chelsea. A very deep one towards David Webb. And Webb might still get there first. Now that might be a bit difficult. Osgood is still right in there. And Kemba driving the ball. And a back heel there by Tommy Baldwin. Tremendous reaction though by Harvey. Tremendous piece of goalkeeping by the young Scott in the Leeds United goal. Bremner. Yorath. Bremner again. Nice back heel there to Hunter. And in comes Webb first time now for Chelsea. Kemba winning that challenge as well. Osgood. Flicked on beautifully there for Kemba. Riding the challenge of Hunter, and the referee stopped it when Chelsea were in possession. A pity that for Chelsea, they were moving so well. Hudson now with a quickly taken kick. Baldwin with a shot. Oh, and he's hit the post. Well, Tommy Baldwin's had no luck at all. A back heel on the line that somehow Harvey got down to, and a smashing shot from a sharp angle there that hit the post.
Bremner to Peter Lorimer. Harris away, but only to McQueen. Nudge forward there nicely to Maidley. Now it's Cherry. Maidley. Lorimer, a deft back heel there, and Hollins getting it away. And they waited, and uh, Maidley went through, and Chelsea now giving it to Lorimer. And that shot was blocked by Webb, and it was destined for the far corner. And still with Peter Lorimer for Leeds United. And then the catch by Bonetti. Well, that was a Lorimer special that hit Webb when it looked as though it was sure to go in. Now it's Hudson. Baldwin just toe-poking it into the path of Hudson again. Chelsea have got a lot of men forward now. Baldwin is one of them. Garland is there with a the chance. Oh, and what a miss kick. Well, poor Chris Garland will be so unhappy about that. Chelsea had sprung so many men forward as well that the odds were always on it coming to somebody and it came to Garland who was unmarked. Swung at it and completely missed it. Lorimer to Bremner. Bremner. Maidley and Cherry hit first time for McQueen. Cherry again. Bremner. Playing simple balls again to their heart's content and not really being challenged very seriously at the moment by Chelsea. Yorath, Maidley, Jordan, still Jordan, now played. Is this it? Oh, a tremendous header away there by Hollins from Lorimer. Still now, right in there, Lorimer will might get another chance now. Chelsea under enormous pressure at the moment as Rini plants it back across the goal and that might be a little too hard. No, it's uh, with Yorath. And now Locke can bring it away. And again, it's a pity advantage wasn't played, although Lorimer might well need the game to be stopped in any case. Tremendous header off the line, though, by Johnny Hollins, the Chelsea skipper, from Lorimer. obviously got a smack in the nose and in fact it looks as though his nose is swelling moment by moment a bit of blood about the place as well so Lorimer's all right again and the game underway again McQueen winning the ball in the air there and now here's Lorimer again Jones and Jordan are both up there still with Peter Lorimer there was a funny old deflection there that went behind for another corner for Leeds United and uh, it came off Steve Kemba. Billy Bremner with the corner for Leeds United, right on half time now. Bonetti beaten in the air, Jordan turning it in! Joe Jordan! was an incredible goal. Peter Bonetti stretched for that corner from Billy Bremner. Didn't quite get to it and it fell to Joe Jordan and somehow he threaded it through, what, four or five Chelsea defenders and in to put Leeds 1-0 ahead. Jordan and Bremner. But there's Kemba. And still Bremner holds him off and he jumped. Harris was after him and Bremner jumped. A good couple of feet in the air there, as you saw. Osgood. Oh, and this will come now for Jones. Hunter and Osgood squaring up there as the ball goes away and there's a bit of pushing going on. Yarth. And the crowd not happy with that. Osgood, who's had Hunter at his heels most of the day, and uh, that was a snapping point. Jordan is there, too high for Hollins, and Webb just got it away, Kemba now. 
Hollins and Harris. Osgood letting that go for Tommy Baldwin. This time played for Locke. And he's got past your... He had a little bit of luck there, Locke, and he took it in nicely in his stride. And he's got past Cherry too, and his cross has won a corner. That was a brilliant touchline run there by Gary uh, Locke. Past two of the best defenders in the business, uh, Yorath and Cherry, two really sturdy defenders. David Webb coming up for this one, making his run as Hausman takes the corner. Oscar on the far side! Peter Osgood! And Hunter and Oscar are having words. The feud is going on, but the battle is level now as Hausman takes the corner and Oscar goes roaring in to make it 1 1. So, Peter Osgood, the man who was doubtful even until yesterday with a heavy cold, comes in and makes it 1-1. His eighth goal of the season. And that really has set Stamford Bridge alight. Hunter getting some booze from the crowd. Baldwin touching it off now for Hudson. And now for Garland and Osgood, his arm raised in the middle there, wanting some more of it. But Yorath to Hunter, with the booze following him. Bremner. And Bremner again. This time for Hunter. Clip this time towards Yorath, and now it's Cherry. Jordan, well he's got round Hollins, but Gary Locke is right back there. Tupanetti is out. This could be Lerma's chance, and he's missed it. Well, that was another remarkable sequence. How Jordan squirmed his way past those Chelsea defenders, and Bonetti, when he came tearing out, couldn't make a contact and Lorimer then made the wrong sort of contact. Made his head up. And now it's Kemba to Osgood. Lovely ball there by Oscar, but I think Garland will have to stretch to get it. Throw to Leeds. Bremner with Leeds throw. Cherry. Well, that's not a very good ball by Cherry. Straight to Peter Hausman. And that wasn't all that good either. Here's Hunter for Leeds. Yorath and Kemba. Beaten by Jones, who really has never stopped running. And now Maidley to Lorimer. Reaney willing as ever on the far side. Jordan tried to touch it off for Lorimer. Now this might be a chance for Chelsea to make a quick counter thrust. Osgood. Tackle from behind, unfair by Cherry on that occasion. Lock. Curling high towards Baldwin, but Hunter winning it well in the air. Bremner, Hunter, and Leeds United throw. Halfway through the second half now. Cherry. Too high for Webb, but here's Jordan. For Yorath. Maidley. And Lorimer. Maidley again to Bremner. Webb getting it away. Now Lorimer. Will this be the long raking kick? It's not, but there's Jordan on the far side. And Jones! Oh, and a beautiful goal! A beautiful goal by Mick Jones. A 
as the ball came over. You felt that Jordan might have tried to header himself, but he nodded it back so accurately, and Jones took it so well. So Leeds United once again have absorbed the pressure after conceding a goal because they've lived with pressure for so long. And they've come back and looked the better side ever since that Chelsea equaliser went in. And Mick Jones now has put them ahead again. 20 minutes left. And Chelsea, this 2-1 down now. Yorath for Leeds. Jordan, man who scored one goal and made the other for Leeds. Another example of the tremendous reserves there are at uh, Ellen Road. I think that they've got four or five first-team players, including men like uh, Johnny Giles and Alan Clark, out of their side. And yet still they go on producing the goods. And here's Jones. If anybody deserved that second goal on the field this afternoon, it was Mick Jones for all that selfless running. Lorimer to Maidley. And now for Hunter. And Leeds are coming forward looking for more. Cherry. To Yorick. And now Jones. Well, maybe Mick Jones might be in a position to line one up for Peter Lorimer. Lorimer now looking back towards Jones, and he thought somebody was behind him. Garland. It's Cherry, though. Crossed in again, and Hollins had to get in there quickly before Jordan. Free kick to Chelsea because Jordan's feet were too high. Well, Chelsea came from 2-0 down last week against Leicester to win. Can they do it again? Score 2-1 to Leeds United at the moment. With 17 minutes to go. Free kick to Chelsea. sure if the players are feeling any pressure. Don Revy feels a little bit of... Looks as though he's taking a pill again for his tonsillitis. Bad throat. Oh, Hollins nearly slipped there and Jordan was almost through. And the free kick's been given to Leeds. Hollins a little surprised, a little disappointed, but the referee was right there. Felt that Jordan was unfairly pulled down. Now this might be the moment for Lorimer to show his shooting power. Although it looks as though it's Bremner who's lined up for it. Four men in that Chelsea wall. Robert Hunter coming across to uh, add something to the tactics there. Well, they're taking a long time to take the kick, and it's Lorimer. Is this the blockbuster? No, it's the one that dipped beautifully. Oh, and he hit it against the crossbar. Well, that really was the other side of Peter Lorimer. I think the wall must have shuddered, and in the end, it was the crossbar that shuddered. Bremner and Harris away Baldwin a nice back header there for Houseman played this time for Baldwin again now Hudson Osgood a little too slow challenged unfairly from behind by Yorath free kick to Chelsea David Webb will take it Hit high towards Tommy Baldwin. McQueen got up well. Lorimer now for Leeds. Looking very comfortable indeed at the moment, Leeds United. Benetti out. <laughs> Hollins to Hudson. In the last quarter of an hour of the game now. Osgood. Taken pretty firmly from behind, but the referee felt there was no foul by McQueen. And Bremner pumping a nice ball here for Lorimer. Lorimer pass away. He's got Jordan and Jones in the middle. And deep is Yorath. And Locke just getting ahead to it to turn it over both of them. Hunter. Bremner. Maidley. Played for Hunter. And this time Jordan. Still with Jordan, and a save by Benetti giving Leeds the corner. And, uh, Jordan was tripped there just as he shot, and the referee felt that I suppose that he got the shot in powerfully enough. 
So it's a corner. Queen right in there again on that uh, goal line, just as Jack Tarleton used to do. And of course, McQueen has taken over that famous Leeds number five shirt from Big Jack. Harris at the near post, Osgood right back. Lorimer once more with the corner. And here it comes. Bonetti again under a lot of pressure. Jordan turning it back with wide. What a fine game, Joe Jordan. Coming in for Alan Clark. Very difficult to shake off a ball. Collins for Chelsea. Played this time for Garland. Osgood is right up there too. And the ball goes off mainly. And now there's Rini killing it beautifully. Lorimer. We're now in injury time. Leeds, who've uh, won at Arsenal, they've won at Tottenham this season. Looks very much as though they're going to win at Chelsea. As maybe takes it up again. And there's Mick Jones. Could this be number three? It's not. A bad miss. And he hasn't done too much that's been wrong this afternoon, Mick Jones. But certainly looks though it's going to be three wins out of three for Leeds in London. And that's why, uh, proving to Londoners at any rate, why they're top of the table. Certainly their performance this afternoon has been full of the right sort of skills. A lot of composure too. Referee looking at his watch. McQueen getting it to Yorath. And Chelsea who had such a good record against Leeds United away from Ellen Road. It looks as though that's ended as well. But here's Harris with a last gasp chance to... Uh, Try and get a point. And it'll be a goal kick. Or is it a corner? No, it's a corner. So this really would be the last chance for Chelsea to save a point. Houseman with a corner. And everybody virtually up now for Chelsea. Here's the corner coming over. Osgood was hopeful of getting there. Lock. Loosely hit shot that's so wide. Chelsea, who fielded their strongest side for some time, really felt that they were going to win this one. But they've been so very well held by Leeds United. A marvellous team performance by Don Rivers men. Harris. They think it's the final whistle, but it's not. Uh, David Webb has been called back to the referee. Must have been something that Webb said. Now, what can that be all about? Confrontation there between Donald Biddle, the referee from Bristol, and David Webb for something that he must have said way, way away from the ball. So it'll be a free kick to Leeds. Norman Hunter's going to take it, and Leeds are practically home and dry now. Again, Jones jumping well, but beaten by Webb. Madeley turning it back once more, and Hollins in there too. Hudson back to his own goalkeeper. Oh, and almost giving Jordan the chance. Now Kemba for Chelsea. Played on for Oscar. Now can Oscar yet save it? Here's Hausman coming in. Chipped in there towards uh, Garland. And Bremner right back to help out. And Harvey calling for it, and only just getting it. Two minutes now of injury time. And the final whistle goes. Leeds United, skipper by Billy Bremner, have done it. The record is theirs. And Don Revy, belting away now to get to the walk of the dressing room, the man who's had this bout of tonsillitis, the man who's guided leaves, takes a handshake. And the crowd rising to this amazing Leeds United side, a truly remarkable record. As they come off the field now, Chelsea, I suppose the first to admit that they were on the afternoon beaten by a better side, Leeds showing, as I say, all the composure in the world, a tremendous team performance, built on the solid foundation of an almost unshakable defence. 
and skipper Billy Bremner takes his Leeds United players off with a record safely now in their grasp. The final scoreline then at Stamford Bridge is Chelsea 1, Leeds United 2. So the record then is safely with Leeds United. It's going to take an, an awful lot of beating. I should say here that it was uh, Brian Clough's turn to be with us today, but alas, he's got a touch of flu, so I'm delighted to welcome Big Mal back to the studio again. Uh, television commentators, journalists, fans indeed, have been raving about Leeds since uh, yesterday afternoon. What is it when a pro looks at Leeds United, that what is it that impresses him most? Well, I think that the ability of their forwards to recognise how to defend and, and do really defensive things in defensive situations, and the ability of their defenders that when attacking, they attack and think like forwards. Mm. Uh, also, their tremendous composure and their ability to create space and, and uh, you know, th there's all these terms that are talked about football, but this team, you know, they really create things and they really create tons of space and plenty of time to play, you know, uh, by, by their accuracy and by their simplicity of their play. They use the whole width of the pitch as well. Yeah, they is. use the width, you know, they use, they can play in tight situations and they draw, they draw players into tight situations and they play out of them and there's plenty of, place to, plenty of places to play. Mm -hmm. You know, they get them in there, they get three or four of them in there, they play it back there and play it across the other side of the park. And they use the width of the pitch wonderfully. I mean, you'll see Cherry coming on this side mm -hmm. and you'll see Rini coming on mm -hmm. this side. Mm -hmm. When they've got time, and there's always two alternatives, yeah. they can always play inside or out. You mentioned their composure, and their composure in defence yesterday was, was quite magnificent. Uh, and we've got a, an excellent illustration of this. Uh, yeah, you'll see, in, in this clip of film here, you'll see Garland play a ball through. It's a Chelsea attack, but the composure with which Maley comes around, takes the ball out, and they play this ball out of defence so, so, with so much composure. Nice little chip there into Bremner. Bremner's got his back to the game, so he brings the ball back. And you'll see Maley again showing himself you know, wanting to take this ball off Bremner, he takes it off Bremner again, plays it inside, there's three players there, there's, there's Hunter, plays another little ball to him, and Madeley brings it back again, and you see two players pointing, you see Hunter and, and Cherry telling him where to play, and he plays a little ball into Yorath, and you're, now you've got four, four Chelsea players in that corner of the park. Now that creates a tremendous amount of space on the other side of the park. Mm. And this is where Cherry, Cherry will go there, and if they want to play the Cherry, he's got 30, 40 yards to play in. And so this is the great thing about their play, their ability to play it tight, nice, nice control, nice neat little passes, and all of a sudden change the play, and the Chelsea players, you know, four or five of them out of the game. Let's pick up Leeds United now when they go on to the attack, because they're equally impressive as uh, their record shows. This is a situation, Bremner taking the throw in, and Cherry picks the ball up, and he'll play a long ball into Jordan. Now Jordan will control this ball here and they're just knocking the yard. Now nine out of ten players would have played this ball forward but he checks it and he plays it deep onto the halfway line. Now the space there for this player to play there's Rini and there's Lorimer and there's Maley again you know making himself available but the time and space is, is tremendous. And this is where Chelsea don't really close up quite, quite enough. Now they knock the ball out again and here's Lorimer again. And he picks, his, he picks his spot and there's Jordan getting up very, very well and knocking an excellent ball down for, for Jones and Jones volleys a tremendous goal. But the time, you know, the time and, and their, their availability, the players' availability is tremendous there. Why is it they've been able to achieve it and other clubs with good resources also have not been able to achieve it? I think that Leeds have probably played more continental sides than any other team in a, lo in a long period of time, in, in ten years. And I think they've copied uh, some of their possession ideas. Mm. Uh, and also, they're so accurate and they're so simple and they're so professional. They're great professionals like Bremner and, and Hunter. I mean, they're really great professionals. Mm. And, they th and they get onto each other. You know, there's, 11, there's more or less 11 coaches out there getting onto each other, yeah. saying, you do this, you do that. Yeah. Marvellous. Well, it was also, quite apart from being an exercise in seeing just how good Leeds United are, it was a fiercely competitive match, and nothing was more competitive than the battle between Norman Hunter and Peter Osgood. We pick up this situation early in the second half, in fact, and you'll see Hunter go in, kicking there, and Osgood kicking back. <laughs> they really did uh, go hammer and tongs at each other right through that 90 minutes, but Osgood said to me afterwards, I had to show him that by scoring a goal, I could get my own back, and that with that beautiful header, he did it. But even then, you'll see, the war of words went on. I can't imagine the niceties that are going on there. Maybe you can, but two England teammates, and I'm sure off the field, the best of, uh, of pals. How would you rate Leeds United, Malcolm? Are, are they the greatest club side, you think, of all time in Britain, as I've seen quoted? I would think so, yes. I think that uh, they play 
the best football I've seen from any English side ever, um, and probably comparable comparable to some of the great teams that I've seen in you know like Hungary. Better say than Spurs of of the 1960s. Yeah, I think they're a better side. Yeah, a much more um, much more capable side. Yeah. Well, there we are. Add tribute uh, to Leeds United. Now, thanks again to Mal.